ATK Mohan Bagan came close to winning the ISL League Shield and Trophy in the last two seasons. In the 2021 season, ATK Mohan Bagan lost out on the League Winner's Shield by just one point and the ISL Trophy in the final to Mumbai City FC. Meanwhile, in the 21-22 ISL season, under new coach Yuan Fernando, ATK Mohan Bagan were just short of a couple of points in the League Shield match decider against Jamshedpur FC. They eventually finished in third position and lost in the semi-finals to Hyderabad FC. So, to lift the trophy this year, ATK Mohan Bagan went all in in the transfer window. They bid farewell to nine players and signed eight new players to fit Fernando's playing style. Juan Fernando shifted to 3-4-3 from his preferred 4-3-3 formation. We saw the Mariners play in that shape in all games of the Durand Cup and the AFC Cup. Hence, he is most likely going to use a 3-4-3 formation. With the back three of Pritam Kotal, Florentine Pogba and Shubhashish Bose. The elder brother of Paul Pogba, Florentine Pogba, signed from the French League 2 side FC, Sochaux Montbillard, for an undisclosed sum and will be playing in the centre of the defence. He has massive responsibility on his shoulder to strengthen the ATK Mohan Bagan's defence in the absence of injured Tiri and Sandesh Jhingan, who joined Bengaluru FC. His passing and body balance are weaknesses in his game. But his experience in elite European leagues along with his physical attributes and all-around defensive capabilities will be beneficial for the team. He will be accompanied by Indian national team defenders Subhashish Bose and Pritam Kotal. Both are established members of the team. Going into the midfield, Deepak Tangri can play as a defensive midfielder. He doesn't have much attacking or creative ability in his bag but can offer defensive cover to the backline. Carl McHugh is another option, which Fernando has on defensive midfield position. The 29-year-old is an integral part of the team for the last three seasons. Carl McHugh or Tangri will be accompanied by Yoni Kauko, who is without a doubt the engine of the team. Kauko scored seven goals in the ISL last season and is one of the best performing players on the team. His body strength, advanced passing ability and also determination to help the team in any difficult situation are why he was named among the four captains of the season. ATK Mohan Bagan let go of Michael Susairaj and replaced him with Ashik Kurunyan. Kurunyan will play on the left flank and can play in defence as well as in attack. His body strength, dribbling and crossing ability are some of his main attributes. Not to forget his blistering pace and the skills he possesses. Kurunian has scored 5 goals and assisted 5 times in the 65 ISL appearances. On the right-hand side, there will be Ashish Rai, for whom the club reportedly paid a transfer fee to Hyderabad FC. Rai is known for his workload and versatility, as he can run up the pitch and can also return at the back as per the situation. Ashish is expected to replace Prabir Das in the right full-back position. Up front, Hugo Bumas will lead the front line. He most probably will be as a false nine as seen in Durand Cup. He is one of the best players in the league and he also has the record for most assists in the ISL. He is a player who needs no introduction about his qualities. His passing accuracy, through passes and finishing make him a headache for any opposition defender. On the right side of Bumos, Petratos signed from A-League club Western Sydney Wanderers. The former Australia international who usually plays as an attacking midfielder or a winger is likely to replace David Williams up front. Petrotos has scored 44 goals in the A-League and also has 31 assists in 221 matches. He also has 9 goals in 28 Saudi Pro League matches. Although not a typical number 9 as the fans had expected the club to sign, Dimitri is known for his long-range shooting ability, his pinpoint set pieces and his unpredictable dribbling skills. His only weakness would probably be his heavy upper body. Besides Petratos, both Manveer Singh and upcoming young player Kian Nasiri can play in the right wing position. On the left side, there will be Liston Kolako. Liston rose to the occasion last season as he scored 8 goals in the league, the most by any Indian player. Liston has scored 12 goals and also has 8 assists to his name in the 53 ISL appearances. His acceleration, dribbling skills, crossing and finishing make him a deadly weapon for the team. 
His only weakness would probably be that he is selfish at times and it costs the team. Goalkeeper Vishal Kath has also been bought in on a free transfer from Chennai and FC. He is expected to replace Amrinder Singh who has signed for Odisha FC. Kath has plenty of experience in the league and will have the daring task to help the Mariners concede fewer goals this season. The main focus of the style of play will be to dominate the game in terms of ball possession and passing accuracy. Also, the team will be pressing aggressively when they lose the ball and will try to retrieve it as soon as possible. Finishing has been a big problem for the Mariners this season. It was also the main reason why they had to bow out of the Duran Cup and the AFC Cup. With coach Juan Fernando playing the team in the new system, everyone will be keen to see how much time the team takes to adapt to the style and perform in the way their fans expect from them. The team must improve on the finishing and defensive mistakes at the earliest if they want to be glorious this season. But we are certain that the Mariners will be a tough team to beat and also one of the leading candidates for winning the League Shield and ISL trophy. If you enjoyed this video, then please subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching the video.